and welcome back to Lemon Lane Cottage. I am so excited you're back. I have really been thinking a lot about this channel and I know that sounds terribly um, self-occupied and that's not the way that I mean it. I have just really been thinking about which way the Lord would have me go with this channel. I am in a fortunate position. How many of you watch my channel it's nice and it's affirming and it's all those things i'm not going to say oh who cares about the number because let's be honest we all um maybe don't want like huge numbers but we all want what we're putting out into the world whether it's on youtube or social media or even just within our family we all want um to be recognized to be heard to be all of those things without getting terribly deep on you, but I really want this channel to be a place where women can connect. And yes, I love gardening, and yes, it was fun to have some gardening videos that got a lot of big numbers. That was very um, heady, kind of very, um, made me think well maybe I should focus on gardening and maybe that's all that I should do but I really think at this time in the world in where we are at as a society what we need yes are beautiful gardens and yes are beautiful sunsets and yes are all of those things that um, bring us joy and and remind us of the beauty that is in this world all of those are necessary and my goodness I admire people who have that passion I have friends um, on Instagram and here on YouTube who are so enamored with sharing their flowers and sharing their homesteads and sharing their animals and I think that that's a beautiful thing and that's a calling and that is all of those things and they bring so much joy but when I look about, when I look at where I feel led to be right now, um, and I felt this way for a while, I feel led to share a simple life. I feel, feel led to share the value in the everyday. I feel led to share that what you and I do. Normal people with normal problems and, and health issues. I want this to be a place where you can come to escape, yes, to have some peace, definitely to see beauty, I hope so, to learn something, yes, but I don't see this as primarily a teaching channel. I feel like there are so many wonderful channels out there that you could key in how to make a quilt, how to plant a garden, how to make sourdough, and get excellent tutorials. I don't see that here. I will always reference what I'm doing so that if it's something you want to do, click the link and go there, or if I provide a recipe, I will definitely um, if, share it with you. But I don't think I'm a step-by-step kind of gal, if that makes sense. I want to be your friend. I want to be your girlfriend. I want to be um, the person that you say, oh, you know, what's Patty chatting about today? Um, what, what can I feel inspired to do in my home today? What can I manage to get done in my garden today? Those are the kinds of things that I want to share with you. How can you make just the ordinary a little bit less uh, mundane, more of the, the Bible says everything, we are to do everything as unto the Lord. How can we make those things that we do that, you know, they're not fun. I'm, maybe somebody loves doing the dishes and if you do, I could give you my address. <laughs> but I'm not a dishes kind of person. I love a clean sink I'm, I'm, and I actually don't hate doing dishes, but it's just, it seems like the sink is never empty. Seems like the laundry hamper is never empty. And more so if you have little ones, I'm sure this is like 
multi multiplied. I, it's just my husband and I, and I still feel those very same things. So I want this to be a place where you can come and just feel like your life is normal. Where you don't feel like you have to cook everything from scratch or that you have to have everything decorated per uh, perfectly. My goodness, I look at some homes and think they are gorgeous, but there is no way I can keep up with that. That's just not reali realistic. And it honestly, it's not something that is that important to me right now. If decorating is your passion, if decorating brings you joy, if you have the budget or the creativity to keep up with it, and I know those people, they don't spend a lot of money, but their homes are spot on beautiful. If that's you, then do that. It's not, it's not me, and that's okay. And cooking or canning or bread making or gardening, that might not be you, but what is you and what is me is that we are relational people. God made us that way. In the same way that we are designed to need God, we are designed to need each other. And I want this to be a place where we can kind of Connect. I know it's weird, you can't obviously talk to me, but I think maybe in hearing me chat and seeing what I do, in, um, that you will feel a little bit more connected to someone. And, and, and just, I'm getting the feeling, maybe you are too, that life is never going to go back to normal. Um, nor normal changes all the time and it has since the beginning of time for us to think oh my goodness it's a new normal I don't want the new normal well I'm sure people have been saying that since the dawn of time we all feel comfort in what we knew what we grew up with um, if we were fortunate and we were if you are um, someone who is a baby boomer or a uh, on the end of the baby booming era um, anywhere in that we had a fantastic childhood. I mean, we ran the streets, we played um, hide and seek until the lights went on. I would just go to my neighbor's house and knock on the door. I didn't call, my mom didn't make a play date. We just went over there. We honestly, and when I think about this now, we rode to the beach and I live in Southern California. The beach is a freeway away, 30 minutes, okay, on the freeway. I can remember riding to the beach on the freeway in the back of a pickup truck let alone I didn't have a seatbelt on I was in the back of an open pickup truck we never thought anything of it and I'm not I'm not saying that that was wise if I was a parent there's no way today I would let my child do that but I'm just saying we grew up in a time um, the last of a time like that uh, we didn't know things and and knowing things is good and change is good and all of those things um, we may not agree with them, but change happens. So I want this to be a place where um, we can kind of normalize that this is life now. This is this is normal. You and I visiting, having a cup of coffee, um, working in the garden, baking something, whatever it is that we're doing. I want this to be. I want this to just be not the new normal, but just normal. Normal is whatever we are living in right now okay we just need to accept that things are not going to go back to the way that they were when i grew up in the 70s they're not going to go back to that they're not going to even go back to what they were before 2020 and that's okay god is still on the throne none of this is a surprise this is normal today is to no normal tomorrow will be normal um, it's all in what we make it and that is what i want your time here at Lemon Lane Cottage to be. I just want it to be a little slice of normal. Maybe that is what I should change the name to. Just a little slice of normal. And that's what I want for us to have here. And I had no intention for this to be purely a chatty video. That's the way it ended up. Um, I will, I'm going to actually head outside. I'm going to clean out um, the Wild Patch Garden and save some seeds. I may actually head over to Hobby Lobby and I'm not I'm trying so hard not to bring in more decor but I still have my 4th of July decor out and I just need some sunflowers 
So I'm gonna head out to Hobby Lobby and that's kind of my transition from 4th of July to fall, that in between August. I think sunflowers are a nice way to do that. I will be changing out my centerpieces and the front porch. So those kinds of things, that's kind of normal. That is what I will share with you. And if you are all for that, please come back. If you've made it to the end of this video, bless you. <laughs> I didn't really mean for this to happen, but it did. And sometimes uh, what's in you has got to come out. So welcome to Lemon Lane Cottage. I'm so glad you're here. Um, what is a normal day look like for you? I'm sure it looks a whole lot like mine does. I get up, I have my coffee, I do my quiet time right here in this chair, which is why I'm sitting here. Um, I put her around the house a little bit. I go outside, work in the garden. I throw in a load of laundry, another one. I try to get the dishes done. I like to cook for my husband. Um, he is not a fancy eater, so um, I prepare a little bit of dinner. I have a new jigsaw puzzle going. To me, that's normal. It may not be exactly what's normal to you, but life that we're living today, God is in control, and that makes it all normal. So, welcome to Lemon Lane Cottage. Once again, thank you for stopping by.